But ladies and gentlemen, it is now 10 o'clock in Germantown, Maryland, and we are praying for Operation Rescue, Brother Troy Newman, as those folks hold their press conference. I will share with you their press release that is in reference to the press conference that's going on as we speak. The title of the press conference was Ambulance Transports Another Carhartt Abortion Patient to the Emergency Room. Troy Newman is the president. Cheryl Sullinger is the senior policy advisor. Both are with Operation Rescue. Germantown, Maryland, yesterday afternoon, which was the day before, an ambulance arrived at Germantown Reproductive Health Services, a late-term abortion clinic in Germantown, Maryland, and transported one of Leroy Carhartt's abortion patients to a local hospital. If you'd like to go to christiannewswire.com, look at the press release entitled Ambulance Transports, you will see a video there of that happening. Brother Troy Newman and them are holding a press conference there in Germantown as we speak. The video is there on the press conference if you'd like to see that. The woman had been in contact with pro-life activists prior to her abortion, but continued on with the two-day procedure. During her second day of the procedure, her husband slept in the car with their three children while she was inside the abortion clinic. Video of the incident taken by local pro-life activist shows that Carhartt got into the ambulance and went with the patient to the hospital, even though he has no hospital privileges anywhere and hasn't since 1987. The woman appeared to be conscious enough to pull a sheet over her head as she was wheeled to an awaiting ambulance. The event of her injuries are unknown at this time. This is the second medical emergency involving a Carhartt abortion this year. On February the 7th this year, Jennifer Morbelli died from complications to a 33-week abortion after Carhartt left town and was unavailable to provide emergency assistance to her or her family. Carhartt remains under investigation by the medical board in relation to that incident. How many more women, ladies and gentlemen, must be injured or killed by Leroy Carhartt. We need the medical board and other Maryland officials to halt the endless delays and take swift action to protect the public from this shoddy abortionist, said Troy Newman, president of Operation Rescue. And I give you a quote from Brother Troy. We predicted this would happen and no one listened. Now it's time for Maryland authorities to buck up and do the right thing before anyone else lands in the hospital or in the morgue. The press conference is going on as we speak there in Germantown, Maryland. 
a press conference is being held by local pro-life leaders to address specific demands for action against Carhartt before more women suffer. The press conference is being held today on Thursday, July the 11th on the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 2013 at 10 a.m., which is right now Eastern Daylight Time at Germantown Pregnancy Choices. 13230 Executive Park Terrace, Germantown, Maryland, 20874, which is directly across from Carhartt's late term abortion clinic. Press conference participants include the Christian Defense Coalition, the Maryland Coalition for Life, and other local pro-life groups and individuals. Operation Rescue is one of the leading pro-life Christian activist organizations in our nation and has become a strong voice for the pro-life and the movement here in America. You can go to their website or you can go to ChristianNewsWire.com. Operation Rescue, if you don't want more information, you can send an email to information.operationrescue at gmail, and you can get more information. We would encourage you to do that, ladies and gentlemen. We would encourage you to be supportive of Operation Rescue, of other organizations that are supporting pro-life. We're rejoicing from yesterday and the day before the victory that was won in Austin. And many of those clinics will be closed in Austin because of this new law. And we praise God for that opportunity. And uh, we're here. If you'd like to call in and pray, the phone number is 712-432-1690. The access code is 399-430-POUND. We will be here awaiting calls from Operation Rescue or any of the other folks that might be uh, present there. And we thank the Lord for the opportunity. We tried to call Brother Troy Newman and Cheryl to no avail, but we know they're very busy right now. And uh, we'll look and see. There is another press release here in reference uh, to this one. And we would encourage you to pray for these folks as they uh, indeed are doing their press conference. We'll see if we can get Pat Mahoney on the line and let him know that we're praying for them. Hello? Pat, this is Wiley Drake, and we're discussing live on the air right now and praying with you and for you as you are at the press conference here in Germantown across from Carhartt's clinic. And uh, we thank the Lord for uh, what you folks are doing. We want you to know we're praying with you and praying for you. If there's anything we can do, please give us a call. 
The prayer line number, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this broadcast, the prayer line number for these folks there on location, the prayer line that you call in on is 712-432-1690. Uh, 712-432-1690. Please call. When you call, you will have to put in your access code 399430 pound. Put in that access code and join us in prayer for Pat Mahoney, Troy Newman, and others that are there in Germantown, Maryland, taking a strong stand for life and taking a strong stand against ungodly murderers like Leroy Carhart. Someone said yesterday that Leroy Carhart makes Kermit Gosnell uh, look like something much lesser. Leroy Carhart is indeed a baby killer and a woman killer. And we come before you now, Lord, for Leroy Carhart. We pray for his soul. We pray that he would come to know Jesus as Lord. And Father, I pray for Pat Mahoney and for Troy Newman and others that these great mighty men of God represent on the firing line here in Germantown, Maryland today as they do this press conference. Bless them, use them, anoint their words, draw people to them to pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're broadcasting to you live here on the Wiley Drake Show, and we thank the Lord for Troy Newman and Pat Mahoney and Cheryl Selinger and others that are supporting and fighting, standing there at that press conference this morning. It is now 15 minutes past the hour of the beginning of that press conference. And if you'd like to call and pray for them and with them, give us a call at 712-432-1690. Put in your access code 399-430-POUND and you can join us in the prayer meeting. Heavenly Father, we do come before you for these mighty men and women of God who are standing there on this day right across the street from Leroy Carhart's abortuary. We pray, Lord, for the family of Jennifer Morbelli, who died as a result of this man's botched abortion. And now another lady has been taken from this clinic to the hospital, to the emergency room because of this procedure at this abortuary, at this death mill. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to pray with and to pray for these folks there in Germantown. And we ask, Lord, that people all over the nation and literally all over the world would continue to pray for these folks on the firing line and for others all over our nation that are standing against the hideousness of abortion. We pray for Troy Newman, for Operation Rescue, for Pat Mahoney, and for others that are there fighting together today. We'll be back on today at 12 noon here in Maryland. In the meantime, please call and let us pray with them and for them. God bless you and thank you for watching this special edition, press conference edition for the Wiley Drake Show.